Hello and welcome, I'm Kyle and this is Let's Play Overland. Uh, so, since the last time we played, there has been, of course, another update to the game. They are pushing them out fast and furious. This is the version of the game they played, or they uh, got together for E3, where they were nominated for Best of E3 um, in the PC Gamer category or PC Gamer uh, Awards. I'm not sure exactly what that is. Um, so yeah. So they're taking a break off, taking a break from uh, updating the game until July, looks like, because they are tired, I am sure. Uh, so we're going to begin a new game since we died in our last playthrough. I'm just going to adjust my uh, my volume real quick. All right. So last time we tried like an, a dog run, and that seemed to go pretty well for us until we got to the final. Uh, level of the last of uh, final level of the first area, which is the area we're in now, the beginning. Um, and I think one of the reasons that happened is because we didn't have enough weapons to kind of deal with the aliens, um, things like that. So, oh, this is cool. I wonder what those feet. That's a new thing. Just move. I guess they're just showing us the movement icon. Anyway, so we're gonna try and be better about hanging on to weapons. Um, and try to have another person in our party at all times, if possible. So anyway, today we are Micah. He never knew who his parents were. Wishes he paid more attention. in scouts. Awesome. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to have Micah just get out. Pick up this fuel. And put it in the car. Probably can't get much. We used it all. That's perfect. Alright. So we're going to talk to this guy. We're going to talk to Seb here. We're absolutely going to invite him. Uh, call me Micah and watch your step. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to like go here. Oop. Maybe a crash. Hopefully not. Let's see what's happening. All right. So it's a Seb. He has no uh, backstory, it doesn't look like. Some nice, looks like the art's been updated as well. So he has CPR training that we'll get after one day. We're going to have Seb go here and pick up this bottle because we're going to want to deal with this guy uh, very soon. Um, we'll just have them both. We're going to have him going over here like digging in dumpsters basically. So Seb, you go here. Micah, you go here. All right, he's got a stick. So we got a stick and a bottle. Uh, we'll end the turn. We'll throw this right now and kill this guy. So it looks like you can now like click on them and it will do the most obvious thing, which is nice. Because I've had some trouble with uh, misclicking. All right, so he's got a shield. I like the shield. So here's what we're gonna do. We are done with this level. We both ended up with some nice weapons. We've killed something. So um, let's start the car up. Can we grab him from here? No. All right, so we'll end the turn. That dude's going to pop up. That's totally fine. We'll have him get in the car. And we escape this level. So far, so good. All right. Just give me a second here. I need to take care of something real quick. All right, sorry about that. So let's see. We can go to Blaine where it's short, which we'll do. We don't really need fuel, so let's go to Blaine. Perfect. Okay, so it's raining, which is good, which means they won't hear us when we make noise. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have Micah get out and go right here and have Seb go with this way and he'll search here a pipe pipes are good because they don't have wear so I'm gonna pick that up as far as I can tell I think these red dots mean like I can use this four times this pipe doesn't have it so it could break I guess at some point but I don't know we're going to leave Micah here. Hopefully this thing will move and not be able to attack us. 
And now we do kill it. It doesn't matter. Because no one can hear us, right? Alright. Search this on this next turn. Toolbox. Not really in need of a toolbox right now, so we'll leave that as it is and have him go check out this other dumpster. Uh, we'll have him go here, pick up this fuel, we'll go back to the car with it, and put it in the car on our next turn. Top off the fuel. Um, and then I'm going to have him go pick up this pipe again, just to have it. Uh, a machete. I'm going to swap the machete for the stick, just because it has more uses. Um, and we'll have him head back to the car. Have him go here and get his pipe. So we're going to have him just drive to here. We're going to have Seb just come around, check out this dumpster as soon as he can. First aid kit. Can't really use it. We've got one in the car, so that's fine. Pull him in. So, we have uh, more short drives, more useful items. Let's just stay down here, head to Vanceburg. Not too much tension so far. It's been pretty good. All right, so we're going to have to make a kill fairly early. So we'll do the same thing. We'll get out. We'll go here. That thing will move one way or the other. And... Uh, Man, does Seb have... Do they give him, like, more range or what? They must have. I don't definitely don't remember being able to move this far. Um, so here's what we're going to do. He's going to get out. Drop his pipe. Move here. Oh, that makes a sound. I wonder if that, they hear that. All right, now we just wait. Now we kill this thing. That does wake one up, but that's fine. Pick this fuel up. Go back to the car. Put it in the car. Perfect. Go get your pipe. And you're going to start searching. He's going to search this. First aid kit. No big deal. I do like now to see like so I don't know if you can see what I'm talking about but so normally what you had to do was you know you would hover over this item and these boxes would pop up and then you had to select which one you wanted to do well what the game is doing now and I really like it is I'm hovered over this and by default my option is to search and I can just click on this thing uh, which is nice Got a cleaver here. Another one, I mean, that's nice. He knows what we got. We are going to swap it since we did use it once. Um, and we'll just kind of have him going back because we don't want to, like, kill these things, right, unless we, like, have a reason to. Rock and a pipe. Or a uh, rock and a repair kit, I should say. Can't search this. All right, so we'll push this stuff out of the way. Let's have him get in the car. Turn it on and drive down here. Is that damaging my car? Sure sounded like it. All right, so we search this dumpster. Uh, just another pipe, that's fine. Get in the car. 
And away we go. So this is uh, another car, which I don't really need. And this is a fuel cache, which we might as well go and get that. Unless we can get a van. Uh, let's go check out the car, I think. Because it would be nice to have a bigger car, so that if we find another person, uh, we could take them with us. This is a protected car, actually, so it's even better. There, There is a big monster here that we're going to have to deal with. Um, but I think we'll be okay. There's a couple of monsters here. Let's uh, zoom out a little bit. Make sure we're not missing something. Alright, three monsters. We can do this. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to get out. It's raining, which is nice. We're going to pick this up. And kill one of these things right off the bat. Right. Uh, pick your sword back up, please, sir. Seb, you just get out and just wait right here. Because this dude's going to come, right? Now we kill it. All right. So, what I want to do now is pick up this rock. Because I can attack this thing with it. Pick my machete back up. I think we'll leave him there, and he should be able to get the kill on that guy. So Seb, why don't you come down here? Yeah, we are going to get in that car to leave, probably. Alright, so here comes Mr. Big. So we should be able to move and then kill him. And it still didn't make any noise. So one thing that got me last time too was you can't move over these big guys' corpses and that really kind of screwed me up when I was trying to solve the uh, the puzzle of the last game, basically. Stone, who cares? Sometimes the UI gets in the way of the game and I don't like that. Alright, but he can move. I think they must have added like diagonal movement too because I certainly don't remember that happening before. Uh, a stick, no, nope. cool with sticks, shield, eh. I mean I like the weapons we have, the shields are good but I, I just kind of like the, I like what we have. Alright, there's no fuel in this car though so here's what we need to do, we need to get our fuel out of this car. Which I don't know if he can even do that. Let's see. Alright, so he just makes... This just isn't my thing, he says. I don't know if that's like... I don't know, I don't know. Alright, Jeb, why don't you go do the same thing? Or Seb. I keep calling him Jeb, I think. His name is Seb. It's a big difference. I imagine he hates when people call him by his wrong name. So apparently he likes doing this. Alright. Alright. I don't know, like... I don't know. I don't know if they're complaining about that and it's, like, meaningful to gameplay or what. Why can't we put the fuel... Oh, he didn't get the stupid gas tank. Jeez. <laughs> It's totally my fault that he did it. I understand that. Alright, uh, fill up the car. Hopefully we'll be able to get out of here soon. Alright. Go back here, get your pipe. You go back here, get your machete, get back to the car. Get in. Start it up. Grab him. And away we go. Maybe. <laughs> there we go. Awesome.
All right, so now we can go uh, get a third person for our party. But what I think I'm going to do is stop here, um, and that way we'll have these, this mission and the last mission I do in our next episode, and hopefully knock that out, and uh, then we'll go from there. So anyway, this has been Overland. I am Kyle. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time.